Hi guys, 15 by 15 by 15 project number two. I'm thinking of using this plastic um, mouthwash bottle. It's 80 millimeters wide or 8 centimeters and just up to the top there, that's 150 millimetres or 15 centimetres. So if I cut it off about there somewhere, that should make it short enough to use as the chassis for a car. What I'm just thinking at the moment is what to use for wheels. I've got milk bottle tops here that I could use. I've got some polystyrene discs that I've cut out of a pizza tray that I could use. The only trouble with using wheels that big is keeping them within the 15 by 15 by 15. So I might be better off using milk bottle top wheels. The only trouble with milk bottle top wheels is they don't have very much grip. But I could wrap rubber bands around them to give them extra grip, see if that would do it. Okay, got a few more milk bottle tops. Now I need to make sure that I cut my bottle to be under 15 millimeters. If we go on the safe side and mark it at 14 and a half. I've actually used my hobby saw, that's what I call that anyway, just to join all those dots together. A fair chance of getting a reasonably straight line then. Well that worked quite nicely. Cut the top off. Right, the labels come off quite easily as well, so that's handy. Right, what I want to do, because it's quite a short body, I want to have a rubber band to power it that I'm going to have it go up the body round a pulley or something and back down so the, the axle that's driven is at this end but I get twice the length of rubber band on it so maybe it'll go a little bit further. I've drilled all the holes that I want now Probably not uh, clear why I want them yet, but it will be. These two will be the axles. That one will be the one that the rubber band goes round. And this one at the front is the one that the rubber band actually hooks onto to start with. So it starts here goes around that one and then back to this axle which will have a little peg on it to grip it so that we can wind it up and uh, hopefully let it go. Now to make these double bottle top wheels I'm going to cut a strip of cardboard and wrap it round the inside and that will help hold them in place. We only need the rubber bands on two of the wheels, the back wheels. Right, I've put a bit of barbecue skewer across the back there. That's an empty ball pen tube that I've put on top of it that's free to rotate. 
and that's the bit that the rubber band which starts at the front will go over that and then back to the back where the axle will be. Right, hope you can see there I've put some bits of my uh, ball pen tube between the wheels and the body so that the wheels don't rub against the bodywork. The wheels, the, the front wheels, are just a push fit on this barbecue skewer. They shouldn't need any hot glue or anything to hold them in place. The back wheels probably will need some hot glue on them to stop them coming loose when they're under power. Okay, that's our little hook. Right, ready for a test run. I've cut a hole in this end so I can get to the rubber band and make sure it goes round my pulley or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Looks like I only need three rubber bands, not four. So I'll take that last one off. A bit fiddly. Very fiddly. go and give it a try and I think I'll take some smaller rubber bands along with me because um, I think that may be too powerful. Okay we'll give it a little test run. Didn't go very far, about two meters. I'll try it with a less powerful rubber band I think. Okay test run time. We've got the less powerful rubber bands in there this time because we were getting too much wheel spin when I tried it with the more powerful ones. So point it in the right direction. And there we go. Hit the other end of my kitchen, which is five metres. OK, summary time. This is my 15 by 15 by 15 project, number two. Uh, the idea of the project is to make a car that is under 15 centimetres long, under 15 centimetres wide and under 15 centimetres high. Uh, this is made from a mouthwash bottle, plastic mouthwash bottle, that I've cut so it's actually 14 and a half centimetres long, so it fits in that way. I've made sure my axles are under 15 centimetres wide, so we fit that way, and it's clearly not 15 centimetres high, so it meets all that criteria. Because it's so short, I've actually run my rubber band from the back round this ball pen tube at the front and back to the back again so that I've got twice the length of rubber band that I would have had if I'd have just used the normal body length. The axles are barbecue skewers, the wheels are milk bottle tops, I've doubled them up so that I've got a bit of thickness there and to give me grip I've got loads of rubber bands wrapped around the back wheels because otherwise it just sits there and does wheel spins. I did try it with a stronger rubber band to begin with and that was no good at all. That was much too powerful and the wheels were spinning whatever I did. So I've reduced the power of the engine or the motor and it runs fine. And we just did five meters quite easily.